Hey guys, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? We're over 50 subscribers. Thank you one and all for all the love and support. It's been such a great journey so far. We're just getting started. And uh, because we're over 50 subs, I think we're going to have a very fun opening. Thank you, Amy. Shout out to uh, my coworker for doing my color yesterday. So we are looking fresh and clean. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's look at these packs. There's some really fun stuff to open today. I'm super excited. So to uh, commemorate our 50 sub mark, we're going to be opening up just some fun shit today. Like some things I've been hoarding for a little bit and wanting to open on stream. But, you know, I'd like to open in front of a, a bigger and more fun crowd. So this actually came from my coworker Darian. Thank you. Uh, I found a couple of other packs like this online that I'm probably going to wind up buying in the future because it just looks like something fun to open. So uh, we got JoJo's, we have a Storm of Ragnarok Special Edition. This one came from a vendor on Mikari with a very, very sweet uh, comment about watching a couple of videos and enjoying them. Shout out to you, Koho Killhill, I believe. But uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's get everything out of their packs. And, uh, yeah, let's get. No, you know what? This has got to be different because special editions have supers. And, you know what? We're just going to just get into it. Screw it. Are we going to stay in focus over here? I do not read Japanese, but, oh wow, definitely shiny. That looks pretty cool. Are they all going to be holographic? Uh-oh. Well, that sure is fun. Any JoJo's fans out there? I actually really didn't watch much of the series. Uh... <laughs> gotta say who doesn't love Dio right Ooh, that sure is slick looking man yeah oh so that's their ultra rare okay yeah you are ultra rare that might actually see if any of these are worth anything that's super pretty all right don't get too distracted by pretty stuff. Found a pretty good deal on these on Facebook. I'll be buying more of these here pretty soon as well, so I can keep hoarding special editions for when we get to our hundred sub count there will be a lot more of these and our promo card is end of the six samurai this is the focus okay When did this set come out? So, let's see, I don't know. That's, that's pretty late. I'm going to have to do some research on these bad boys. Uh, hopefully, I'll have the information somewhere on the screen. I was not collecting or playing Yu-Gi-Oh! when these sets came out. But, there is uh, chances for, I believe, Ghost Rares and Ultimate Rares. Uh, there's a lot of possibility in, for high rarity stuff in the... That's we are opening today. Scribe Shark, Odin's Eye, Symphonic Warrior Drums, and a Foolish Return. Tyrant's Tyrage, Sheen Squire, Goddard Damero, Mimir of the Nordic Ascendant. Right, there's a bunch of Nordic cards in here.
We got Tiki Curse. Curry Curry Watchdog. Fine Wind of the Mist Valley. And a Secret Rare Scrap Breaker. Okay. These are unlimited. Legendary Six Samurai Kageki. Amir. Nordic Relic. Solemn Authority. And got a Demeron. What a name. Cosmic Compass, Cyber Shield, Barrier Resonator, and we have an Ultra Rare Karakuri Muso MDL 818 Hypa. Alright, I'll we'll take an Ultra. Out of sets like these, you uh, kind of get what you can. There's no real guarantee out of the uh, Special Editions. So we will take that and run. Hourglass of Courage. Power Curry Ninja, Token Sunday, and Watt Mole. I actually didn't realize that there was uh, two packs in this when I bought it. I thought I was getting a, a good deal on the Soul Fusion pack on its own. Turns out, there was a second pack in here that I don't know what it is. Bunch of well, garbage, probably. Legacy, tuning. Yeah. This is a bunch of bulk. Oh, look. Wow. Oh, look. Two garbage rares. What is this one? Oh! Yeah, first edition, Immortal Destiny. Hey! Let's see what you have. Hmm, Earthbound Immortal stuff. Okay, so we got Earthbound Immortal Revival, Evil Hero, uh, Hero Infernal Prodigy, Fire Ant Ascator. And better plant before Ver Veritum. E. Don't you look nifty? You look like a dragon, but you're a plant. What the hell? Wait, did it say two dark monsters on the field? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, Soul Fusion. What do you got? Alright, Rise of the Salamangrate. Nano Wrestler Capitera. Nano Wrestler Pinkertubs in common. Interesting. Agave Dragon. Token Collector. And. Danger Dog Man. Light foiling. Interesting. Very subtle foiling on the older older cards. In incantation, Salamander Great Sanctuary, Necrofusion. Yeah, that's it on you. And along with that Soul Fusion came a couple of Dawn of Majesty in the same things. So I definitely Got a really good deal on these. Thank you, Coho. Dispatch Parazzi. Converging Will's Dragon. Monster Assortment. Dragonlock Perrin. And Despian Pruskinian. I've used him in a couple of different branded versions that I've cooked up and 
It's kind of fun, but he's rather useless at this point in time. My nails look like this because I did a beautiful redhead yesterday. I will actually probably put her uh, color on the screen from work. Uh, probably now. And uh, yes, uh, that is color staining on my nails. That is actually not dirt or grunge. I am a hairstylist by trade. And this is my hobby. You guys just get to see The effects of color on nails, essentially. Magic key unlocking, Chronomaly, Arrow Picks 3. Yeah, we're not going to read that one. <laughs> and Majestic Mirage. Now, this one says two legendary packs, so I'm guessing it's a couple of the first five sets. It's obviously not the... 25th anniversary, so these are reprints of, oh wait, oh they are 25th, oh just look at that, okay, nope, still reprints, what do we got, Hermit of Dark World, A promo, let's start with Invasion of Chaos, I remember when these original first edition boxes were out, I was working at KB Toys with my best friend Ray, Bryson, Dusty, a whole handful of guys, man. It was so much fun. We ran that story. Spatial Collapse. And that's when I was real deep into my competitive Yu-Gi-Oh days. I was buying packs from work, man. Let me tell you what. It was... I had quite the collection. Alright, Berserk Gorilla. Do we have anything after you? Nope. Alright. Can we pull an Exodia piece? Can we pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon? You know what? I'm going to do this way for this one. We got Dark Grey. Wasteland. Steel Ogre Grotto. Barks. Umi. Nimariko. Hard Armor. Carbonala Warrior. And do we get a... Nothing special. Number two. Rip. Alright. 5Ds. Another era of Yu-Gi-Oh! that I was just not around for. Rare bulk. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what you got, Raging Battle. I wasn't around for all this, so this will be the first uh, Raging Battles booster pack I'll ever open. It is an expensive box to buy right now. Morphtronic Bind, Mirror of Oaths, but all of the vintage Yu-Gi-Oh stuff is. Iron Core of Kawaki Meru, and nothing. GB Hunter, Blackwing Shura, a box, Rose Tentacles. All right, now these. Oh, these. Let's see if we can get any... You know what? We're going to go ahead and speed through this part because I'm just going to open all these at once. <sighs> Alright, guys. I don't know if y'all have seen the latest X-Men 97 episode, but that shit was wild. Uh, if you're a fan of the original X-Men animated series, I really hope you're watching 97. I... It's not going to say anything else. Go watch. But if you are current 
and updated on it. Hop in the comments and tell me what you thought about this last episode. Try not to spoil. For others. At least for the first week or so. And uh, we will also eventually be talking about the uh, Fallout series on Prime Video. Oh man, that's another one I can't wait for. It looks real good. Alright, so King's Court. Let's get some Pharaoh's Secret Rares. Or some ghosts. We got Baxia. Dowsing Fusion. Wind Up Arsenal. Pot of Duality. Nice. Olga the Prophet. Majestic Dragon. These E packs. And a. Hey, Ultra Rare Lightning Storm. I think that should be a fairly decent card to pull out of this set. Even though it got reprinted into the ground through um, Verity Collection. Um, I'm pretty sure as a very necessary staple that uh, it's still worth a little bit. So we got ZW Ultimate Shield. Rescue Rabbit. Cute little bunny. The Wicked Dreadroot, Unstellar Ptolemy PM7, Stardust Shellong, Gravekeeper Spy, and Chao Fang, Phantom of the Yingxing. I'll just go down here. Gravekeeper Spy, number C39, Rhoda, Boxia, number FO, Queen's Knight, and Base Card Fusion. We got Tyus of the Brethren. The Wicked Eraser, Arcana Knight Joker, Gravekeeper Spy, Number C39, Rota once again, and Thunder Speed Summon. Golden Eyes Idol, Number FO. Pendulum XYZ, Arcana Knight Joker, Rivalry of Warlords, Reinforcements of the Army, and XYZ Hyper Cannon. Does I make a mess? We got the Wicked Eraser, EW Tornado Bringer, Dowsing Fusion, The Wing Dreadroot, Pendulum Transfer, EW Eagle Claw, and XYZ Hyper Cannon. Famine political colors. Leave me alone. I'm trying to record. <laughs> Number 39 Utopia. Wind up Arsenal. Infinite cards. Eternal Bond. The Warrior Returning Alive. Majestic Dragon. And Joker's Wild. Collector's Rare. That's also what's in King's Court. Warrior Returning Alive. Jack's Knight. King's Knight. Inverting Wishes. Boxia. Dowsing Fusion. And World Legacy Guard Dragon.
All right, Boxia again. Jack's Knight. Eyes of the Brethren. Tornado Bringer. Stardust Shaolong. Eagle Claw. And Face Card Fusion. Oof. Oh, King's Court, don't do this to me. Pendulum XYZ. Ties of the Brethren. Wicked Eraser. Arcana Knight. Gravekeeper Spy. C39. And Magnet Induction. Number O Utopic Future, Queen's Knight, Hot of Duality, The Wicked Avatar, Eagle Claw, Rescue Rabbit, and World Legacy Guard Dragon. I got three more. Alright, Boxia. Jack, Brethren, Ringer, Shaolong, Eagle Claw, and White Rose Cloister. That's really pretty. Un unexpected die. The warrior returning alive, Jack's knight, King's knight, converting your wishes, converting, uh, wait, converging, oh god I'm blind, converging wishes, and another world legacy, last pack. Arcana Extra Joker, Constellar Ptolemy, Dreadroot, Wicked Eraser, Golden Eyes Idol, Utopic Future, and our last card is Hyper Galaxy. Well, that was kind of sad. King's Court, why'd you have to do me like that? I appreciate the lightning storm. That is a beautiful card, but it has been reprinted into the ground. Need to check on this guy. I have no idea. We'll look at him. That was a really pretty secret, though. This old school foiling is just different. And man... That just looks cool as hell. And another thing, Japanese foiling is just on another level. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all for all the love and support. Y'all have been amazing so far, and I can't wait to keep growing. Um, if I haven't shown my client's color that I did yesterday yet, here it is. Um, I can't wait for the next video. Let's get to 100, guys, so I can open these special editions. See you soon.